This application is just the fish pack demo with FireMonkey. The first thing you need to do is you need to set up a profile. So that's done by doing to go to Tools, Options, and then you can look at Remote Profiles. And you can see that I've already added a profile here called My Mac, and it has the name of the host and all the necessary things. But normally what you do is you'd click Add, and uh, you'd set up things. Notice uh, you can also set it as a default. So I have my Mac set, um, set for the default for my OS X platform. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go add that my Mac to as a platform. So you can right click up here, add platform, and we'll add OS X. Notice there's also 64 bit if we need to, or another 32 bit if we need to. So we'll pick OS X. And notice it, it added my Mac as a profile automatically. Now, you can also get back to that same dialog box by right-clicking and selecting Edit Profile. And that's the same dialog box that we were at just a moment ago. Okay, now let's look at a couple things about how we're connecting to our database here. This is using uh, Interbase Express or IBX as, for the connectivity. And right now I'm looking at a TIB database. And you notice it's just connecting to the DB Demos uh, database. It has all the default settings. Because there's no path anything here, this is just going to connect to the database in the same place where the executable lives. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set a couple of interesting breakpoints in our application. So you should notice, first of all, I have an if def here defined it for Macintosh. So this is something that's done specifically for Macintosh. What I'm doing here is on Windows and Mac, pathing works just a little bit differently. On Windows, it automatically looks for the database to live in the same directory where the executable is. That isn't true on Mac always. So what I've done is I basically, the line above here figures out the directory where the executable runs, and we just say, hey, look for, it, look for the database in that directory. Now I also have a uh, simple uh, about box. And in that about box, we're going to display uh, what operating system uh, that we're running on. So we're going to set a breakpoint here as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run this on 32-bit. So we're going to activate this platform. And now I'm going to press F9. And notice that we've got a breakpoint here. And it stopped on our line for Windows. And our application came up. Okay, so we've got uh, help about. Okay, and uh, notice that the uh, platform is Windows here. And here's the version of Interbase up here. Notice that Interbase is running on Windows. So now we're going to activate for Macintosh. And now we're going to press F9 again. Here's our breakpoint set where it's setting up the database name. Let's go to our Mac now. What happens is when it starts coming in, you've got this nice little bouncing icon here. It says, hey, I'm starting to run. Normally you just see that a little bit, but because we've got a breakpoint in the form create, this is continuing to bounce. So let's go back to our IDE and we'll press uh, F9. And now it comes to that breakpoint that we saw before. I'm going to press F8. And notice this time, it picks Mac. And now we get to see our run application running on the Mac. Now notice before on Windows, I did help about. And my executable changes the menu just a little bit. And now we're going to pick Fish Fact about. And notice now our client platform is a Mac. And notice now the server is a Mac. And this thing works just like you expected we could do. We could select different records. Let's look at a couple of our deployment options. So now we're going to pick uh, Project Deployment. And here's where we can configure our deployment. So one of the things that I've done that's interesting is I'm actually deploying the DB Demos um, a file to the Macintosh. Probably most cases you wouldn't do that, but in this case I'm doing it so that we can actually just copy it over there and we'll know that it's there. So now let's look to see where actually the files live on the Macintosh. Where the files get deployed on the Mac is they get deployed to the Scratch directory. So here's my Fish Fact application, and I can actually just run it right here. Okay, and there's running it just as the same as we did. On the Macintosh, uh, this is actually a collection of files. So we could actually do control click, and we could show the package contents. And here we can actually see the DB Demos file. Now the last thing that I want to show you is a new, a, a new option that Interbase Express has. And in this example, this is a new property of a TIB database. Notice that right now I've got it set up for a server, but notice there's an IB embedded option. This will use the Interbase to go edition.